In this video, I'm going to talk about analyzing the truth value of a conditional statement. So now what we're doing is we're looking at conditional statements. Uh, conditional statements are our if then statements, the if-then statements, our hypothesis and conclusion statements. And we're looking at the validity of a statement. We're determining if it's true or false. Uh, so that's what we're doing. Determine if each conditional is true. If false, give a counterexample. So if we find it to be false, we need to give an example of when it is false. All right. So first example. If this month is August, then the next... Ne <laughs> One more time. If this month is August, then the next month is September. Okay, so we're talking about months here. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, and then after August is September, then October, November, December. Okay, so August is our is one month. If, if this month is August, the start of school, whatever it is, then the next month is September. Yes, that's the logical order of our months. This is a true statement. This is a true statement. The validity of this statement is true. Okay, not a very difficult statement, but again, uh, using using logic and reasoning to figure out that yes, this is true. Very very easy example, um, but nonetheless gives you a true um, gives an example of a true uh, statement. Anyway, next, if two angles are acute, then they are congruent. Hmm. Okay, so I have, what I have to do here is I have to figure out, okay, acute angles, acute angles. Acute angles are the small ones. So acute angles could be something like uh, 45 degrees um, or something like uh, uh, 30 degrees. Okay, right there. there those, those are two examples of what an acute angle is. So just in kind of understanding what an angle is. All right. So two angles are acute, then they are congruent. Well, wait a second. These two angles... Congruent means that they're the same measure, the same size and all that, but these aren't the same measure. These are 45 and 30. These are two examples that I use to try to understand what an acute angle is. So if two angles are acute, then they are congruent. Well, that's not true. These two are not congruent. These two are not congruent. So this right here, this is a counterexample. Without even knowing it, it was just drawing what a couple of acute angles are. I just gave a counterexample. So I have two acute angles, but they are not congruent. Okay, this is a false. False this has the L, comes before the S. False statement, and here is my counterexample to say that that, exam, or that conditional is false. And that's it. Those are my two examples of analyzing the truth value. You just got to remember when you're going through this logic and reasoning, think of a couple of examples. Go through a couple of examples. Now, the first one that we did here, uh, this was just months. So again, what I did is went through all the months, January all the way to December. August is, um, I, and the progression goes August, then September. Okay, so that is a true statement. On the other hand, if two, acute, if two angles are acute, so what, what I do, I just drew two acute angles to get a better understanding of what the problem was asking for. And then the second part said that they are congruent, and coincidentally, I also came up with a counterexample that shows that, in fact, they're not congruent. 45 degrees and 30 degrees, they're both acute angles, but they are not the same measure. They're not the same size. They're not even close to the same size. Okay, so they're not congruent. That makes this a false statement. That makes this a false statement. Anyway, uh, that is analyzing the truth value. That's figuring out if uh, a conditional statement, an if-then statement, is true or false. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and hopefully it was informative.